excited for the call. Yes, I'm excited. Hey, hi guys. <laughs> you too. You too. How are you? Yeah. Hi everyone. Hi guys, I just wanted to say thank you for joining us. Um, I'm really glad that you're here, we all are. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you again because we know you're coming from all over everywhere. So it's really exciting to get to see everyone and hear everyone and um, just get your responses from the questions that we have. Um, the first one is our vision says that we are an innovative partner, mobilized to share hope wherever there is hardship, building communities that are just and know the love of Jesus. Knowing this is our vision, how does it make you feel? I think this is so exciting. When I read it, I'm like, whoa, um, it, it invited me actually to go and do something about it. We're creative thinkers. We're different. We're doing this for a different purpose than other organizations potentially. Um, and uh, that's, what, that's why it's so important for us to rephrase this today. Great. Thanks, Bethany. I have a question for Joshua Arkell. As the youngest person in the group, we would love to know what part of the vision statement challenges you. How does it sit with you as a 13-year-old Salvationist? Sometimes um, uh, we just talk about it and we need to take action. Instead of just talking about it, we should actually do something about it. Right on. Thanks, Joshua. So I have a question for you guys. What does innovative partnership look like in the Salvation Army? When I first saw the vision statement and saw the words innovative partner, I couldn't help but think about um, our founders. They were able to look at the need, they were able to say, we're gonna do something and it's okay if we make a mistake and it's okay uh, to learn from that mistake and to move forward from there. The innovative partner can be pretty much anyone within the community. So like we are able to uh, work along with, with others in order to uh, spread the love of God for example, in Grand Prairie, Alberta, where we are, instead of having two kitchens serving the same population, we decided to partner together. And so this is the church and the indigenous community working together as equals. And we're sharing one kitchen now. Yeah, and it's not just a soup kitchen anymore. It's turned in, we changed the name to community kitchen. So when people come together, it's not an us and them, it's just an us. And so that innovation is kind of at the root of what we do as the Salvation Army. We don't just have to run it ourselves. We can work together with others. I think sometimes in Salvation Army, we have this really big capacity to do a lot of things. And I think innovation is maybe doing less things better because we are partnering with people that are already doing really well at some of these, some of these community things. So how are you sharing hope in your community and area of ministry? Uh, we've had many who've come for food, clothing, shelter, uh, basic needs of life. But our greatest transactions of hope have come in the form of what that person really needed in a connection, a conversation, uh, a relationship. Um, and I believe we truly uh, can measure hope in transformation our aim was to believe believe in our people and believe in our staff encourage their level of work so that they are so empowered that whenever they meet the individuals of the community who are in need they're given the best possible service i think hope is not just in the physical of giving something I think it is in being someone, meaning it's a part of who we are. Hope has been a really uh, a big thing in my first year as an officer. And I'll never forget doing the first couple intakes of the residents who would be moving in and showing them to their room. And one of our residents just stopped and everyone else was so excited to see, you know, their dresser, their bed, that sort of thing. And this one gentleman just stood and stared at the door. And we said, are you okay? What's going on? And he said, this is the first time in 15 years I've had my own bedroom door. 
like this is hope. You could see it in his body language, in his eyes, in his demeanor, and who he was able to flourish and become because of a door that I take for granted every single day. That's awesome. Wow. I actually have another question for you guys really quick. Um, what I love about the Army is that we share hope in hard places. We really go there. So I'm wondering where those places of a hardship are that you see hope in action. Uh, we have that ability to share hope into situations that maybe are a little bit more um, hidden um, from, the, from the eye. Um, it isn't necessarily about telling about Christ, but we're showing Christ through our hands and our feet and what we do. Thank you, Mark. And something I'd like to ask, um, Bethany would love to hear from you on this. What do you think it means to build communities that are just? What would that require from us as the Salvation Army? The word that comes to mind to me is dignity. It isn't about equality, um, everything being equal. Um, but uh, the reality is if we don't offer dignity and allow people to do things for themselves, we're not gonna have a just community. I think a true community that is just means that there's equitable opportunities for people. I think a just community means that we need to empower people with knowledge. And when we can empower people to know what is available to them, I think that's when a community becomes just. It, it, it calls us to go out into the community to, to seek needs in the community, to see where the need is and, and to ensure that everybody has the same kind of opportunities. I have another question. Our mission statement probably declares that we exist to share the love of Jesus. And our vision statement ends with communities that know the love of Jesus. What does it mean for you personally to know the love of Jesus? To know the love of Jesus is something that changes who I am. Uh, it sinks down through my heart and out my feet and changes everything that I do. That's knowing the love of Jesus. Personally, I have experienced who Jesus Christ is in my life because I too lived on the streets. I too was a sinner in need of salvation and God took a hold of this life and turned it around. I went from punk to pastor and now I'm sharing that love to others who are struggling and I hope that they too will know Jesus as well. Powerful question. Uh, knowing the love of Jesus uh, to me is knowing compassion and love uh, and all of it is uh, unconditional. In order for us to fulfill our mission to share the love of Jesus, uh, we must first be a people, an army, who know the love of Jesus. We cannot make known what we do not know. We cannot share what we do not have. Yeah, good stuff. I've got a bit of a longer question for us. I want to go back to the first word of the vision statement. Did you catch that? Our vision statement starts with we, and that is very intentional. We is not uh, merely an institution, but we are a people. We are a movement. We are the Salvation Army, and the vision will take all of us working together in order for it to come to life. So how does the we of our vision statement resonate with you? For me, the word we in the statement um, means to me like the whosoever. Um, whosoever wants to come, whosoever wants to be a part of our uh, Salvation Army, who wants to be a part of our organization um, and in any capacity that may look like. Every person has a part in this vision. It's for everyone to be a part of and you can't get away from it when we say we, that's all of us. I think the next word is actually very important too is are. Um, not will be, not uh, hope, someday we'll get there. Thanks, Peter. Thank you, everyone. Those are great responses. Okay, Juan, cuéntame tú qué piensas acerca de nosotros dentro de la misión y la visión del Ejército de Salvación. Yo creo que cuando miró a la vida de Jesús, lo que él quería era una unidad 
para todos nosotros y para que podamos ser ese nosotros deberíamos entonces eh, incluirnos a todos y esto incluye un amor fraternal entre todos. Estoy realmente contento que como ejército de salvación podamos todos decir estamos incluidos todos en esta misión para llevar a cabo el trabajo de nuestro Señor Jesús. Así es. Gracias, Juan. Thank you so much, everyone. That was awesome. Bye. Thanks, guys. See ya.